Okay, it's late, and I uh, probably will screw this up, and I probably won't even save the video, but there's a small chance it will work. Now, yeah, I have this thing to copy uh, PDF into Excel, and we get something like this. Now, that works. There's another program I have that works just wonderfully when we have all words at the beginning and uh, numbers at the end because what you do is you go around and start counting backwards from the numbers now this time we have two columns so let's see if we can make a, a PDF to Excel macro ourselves this time I'm going to try to do it uh, with you. So the first thing we do is let's make a macro that uh, let's call this uh, text to col columns. Okay. Now uh, we don't need of course a thing and then we go to data and we go to text to columns and we delimit it Actually, oh shit, we, we need to click on column A and then go to text to columns and delimit it with a, a space. Next, finish. Now, here's going to be the problem. We want to, uh, when we have this, I shouldn't have uh, put that as part of our video, macro, I mean. Oh shit. Oh, this has the um, problems with the, the commas. Ah, damn. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. I have another, in that other uh, uh, video, it, uh, in the other macro, it puts these things together. Ah, shit. Um... Oh, damn. Um, so, hang on, let me pause and think about this. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. What I did is cheated big time. I deleted some of those uh, rows. Now, uh, uh, this delimited seems to be okay. So we'll just we'll just leave that in, okay? That's going to be the first thing we do. I need to uh, find something else. Oh shit! This is. A, do we have something else where it went wrong? Now, what we're going to do is go backwards, and when we find a uh, uh, something that's not a number we're going to go to the prior one and if that's not a number we're going to um, uh, we're going to combine them and here's how we'll do this so let's first oops let's do this alt e m and copy it okay in fact that's what I do with the other macro okay and what we'll do is we'll essentially if we'll go to this if if we go to this one we'll uh, add the year end. Let's just do it kind of by hand. We'll say year end, and then we'll uh, how do you <laughs> shit. Uh, uh, if I press control minus does that and then we can shift the cell uh, to the left is that okay okay so this will say December year end so we just keep doing that okay so whenever we so we just keep going backwards and everything that's not a uh, everything that's not a a number we just 
keep going backwards and putting that uh, uh, together. Okay, so we'll start here. Oh shit, this is a bad one too. Um, we'll just keep going backwards and see if we can uh, and see we have all these numbers here maybe this won't work but uh, let's try it so the first thing let's do is let's say let's make a little macro that uh, we can remember how to do this so control minus and shift cells to the left and stop recording okay and then we essentially may I might even leave this even if it doesn't work perfectly here's our uh, macro so let's uh, once we have this let's go for row equal one to a hundred okay that in the other uh, PDF to Excel file I have a method where we where we go through and count the rows and figure out how many rows to do. Actually, that's not really difficult in this case, is it? We just go to the first row. And then, uh, uh, so, and then we start with the row. We go to the last column. So let's uh, go for column, and we start with the last one. Let's, let's say we, we start with 25. Okay, to one step minus one. It's I think it's it's crucial to start at the end. Now we put cells row test. How about we'll call it test equal uh, uh, cells. And I put row comma call. Okay, and then what we do is we put worksheet function uh, dot is number is non text is number test. Okay, so let's let's put a if if worksheet is number of test then we uh, let's see we do something and then we'll put else I don't know what we'll really do if it's not then we go to how about we'll put test one Okay, and we go to the column. Now we start with 25, so we put minus 1. And of course, we have to make sure this doesn't really work in the very first column. So if column is greater than 1, then we, we have to do this. Okay, and then we put uh, uh, to have a test three equal test one and this and test okay uh, but we only do that if worksheet function dot is number where's is number how about this I'll just put equal false then so that means we have two uh, things okay and then so we add make we make test three test one and we delete the we do this, we delete it to the left, okay, and 
we go to the end of how about let's put this 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 makes a lot more sense if we just put equal faults okay so then okay so we have kind of two if statements and we just go, go around and we keep uh, shifting to the left okay and then let's try next column and then we put next row okay and how about we'll just uh, try this no how about we put alt i am oops not that alt alt e m create another copy just to, so we can uh, try this and we go to, to macros and I guess is this what we called it so <laughs> okay okay it didn't work okay and let's uh, uh, oops and why did I do that? Alt E M. C. Alt Control C. Alt C. Okay. Okay. And let's look at our macro again. And you know, I feel guilty about wasting your time, so I'm gonna uh, uh, pause it. Okay. I. Here's the real problem. I couldn't find it. This, our example wasn't very good, but uh, I had to move the um, deletion afterwards, and we had to just uh, do it only if it wasn't row number one. But this program really isn't very large, is it? So what you do is you get something like this, and then you just go to this macro two, which I'll rename, and we'll put run. Now uh, I suppose I have to. Uh, for less things and oh <laughs> shit <laughs> okay well no no it wasn't so bad so it puts all the uh, stuff at the beginning and then the important thing is it puts this stuff at the end we had a couple of problems here and this was this wasn't really due to the program it was due to the fact that these numbers weren't consistent in this uh, in this column, I mean, you know, you didn't really have two clean columns of data, but if you had two clean columns of data, uh, then then it really would would work. Um, I think what we'll do is is I'll call this one. Uh, I'll move around. Once I finally found some, find some uh, good uh, example, uh, we'll we'll kind of put it into the other thing, and we can we can run a kind of sub read tables. Okay, and so you can first do the text to columns. Now sometimes you'll also do things like adjust the spaces and dashes the spaces, remove dollar signs, there are a bunch of stuff you might want to also do. And then we'll put move around. And that's kind of, it's not uh, clearly not perfect, but it, it illustrates the process of reading a, a PDF file into Excel and that it's it's not really that uh, difficult, and that's all that's behind uh, 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 the reading the, the program that I put on the, the website. Okay, I'm a little proud of it now. I have a lot less proud of it.